Hello. I'm back. Today's feature palette is the C color unisex four, which is um inspired by Dominique Cosmetics Latte. It's one of those neutral with a pop of it's got a pop of blue, it's got a pop of purple, it's got a little kind of orange, a little bit of yellow, but nothing really standy out here. I've got my e.l.f. primer putty on, and yes, I've been playing with the hair dye again. Can you tell? Anyway, let's see. Let's start with, well, this is kind of a green, more than a yellow, and I figure what the heck, I'll just start there, just because. It's going to be one of those errands kind of things. Got to take the old man to the doctor for his regular appointment because he's a diabetic. Both get those. And then we need to go see about what's going on with a couple of utilities. For some reason lately, for some reason, I can let you make your own inferences. I know what mine is. But all of a sudden, and, well, not so much all of a sudden with water utility, but with the um, garbage pickup, we are having a sudden problem with them not wanting to pick up. And all it said was that it had been canceled. And my son went online because he does a lot of the utility stuff that's online payments. And he's looking and it's showing it's paid. <coughs> and so he calls and first they said, well, you have to talk to the manager and the manager hasn't called him back, so he's calling up again. He is, over the last couple of days, been locked out of his online account. And, you know, he's, he's paid. He's got his bank records, everything. Now, we got the, they turned the water off last week and they had to come right back out and turn it back on because it was paid and then this week we get the thing with the with the trash service now this is a county trash service we pay them every two months it's not that big a deal but all of a sudden they're like like they don't know nobody and I have the unfortunate feeling that this little tiny rural town that my son is being penalized for the bio units last night because he's carrying the bio units last night. Which is a Latina Now, said Latino 
his parents came across the board on a legal visa and a long time of life. They've been here for a long time and have been naturalized. His donor's older brother was naturalized. He came over as a baby. The donor was born in the USA. As far as we're aware, he's never even been back across there. Ever. Even though there are still some relations on the other side. That mom and dad and all that are pretty close with. So, and then Garland's son was born in Colorado. But we've had some issues with the other people. Including because the grandkids are special. They sent a social worker over and the first one they sent over was this little Latino guy who came in looking for my son, putting a serious Latino accent on the name and acted really, really, really surprised when this tall, blue eyed, blonde haired came walking out not understanding the first word Spanish beyond, you know, a few that anybody would have picked up. And it's not that he's upset about his heritage, he just never really learned Spanish in particular. He has a little bit. Had a little bit more when he was younger. You don't use it, you lose it. Now, we've had little problems with this kind of thing off and on since we got here. But it has recently ramped up a little bit, number one, but the uh, nothing. It doesn't make any sense, or at least it doesn't to me. And I'm like, dude, seriously, what the heck? So, since my son can't drive, He's got cataracts from trauma, so he can't see, so yeah, he can't drive. So, you know, if he hasn't been able to get a hold of the supervisor over at the 
garbage service and get this straightened out. When I get back from taking the hubs to his doctor's appointment, I will be taking my dearest son across town to see if we can deal with this and get the trash service we got too many people in this house, we can't not have it. And I am really, really hoping that this is just an error. And they've got his account locked because they're trying to track him down. And that. And such. But the more often we have issues, the more I'm starting to think that maybe we have a little conservative attitude problem going on. Like I said, I'm really hoping that's not it. It's not something anybody needs. It's not something anybody here wants. I mean, it's not like we can just pick up and go somewhere. So, here's hoping. One that's got kind of a copper gold accent. And one that's kind of a bronzy accent. And then there's this one, which I'm still trying to figure out. But it's pretty. So. I'm not going to bother trying to call it. I'm just going to use it. I have not sprayed these because I don't want them. I want to see how they go on as they are coming straight out of the pan. Currently, it's looking pretty good. Now, if it comes down to it that the problem back to the fact that somebody is having an issue. With my son's last name, we are probably going to have either me or my husband go in and put it in for us just to get these people to push. Like I said, I am really hoping this is actually a genuine oops and not something more. Alrighty. Okay, yeah. Used all of three colors. This one with a creamy this one, the blue, uh, it's kind of gray, and then this one, it's got kind of a red undertone to the brown. One of three. Oh, sorry. Glitters. It's 
break just the eyeballs. doing the foundation. I've already got primer and such. And this may sound silly, but I'm not, I'm putting on the sunscreen now. Because what I'm doing is mixing the sunscreen with some of the serum foundation. Because the sunscreen that I'm using is the Neutrogena 100 Plus, and it's very thick. And the serum foundation is very unthick. So I thin out the sunscreen just a little bit to make it easier to put on. And yes, I still use a working amount like you're supposed to. But I mix it with the serum foundation because that stuff is really, really thick. And if you've got a lot of other stuff on your face, it doesn't always want to stick where you put it. I love it because it's my weight, but there you go. So I mix it up. And then take, I use the end of the brush. No dot dot dot. And then start smearing. I am not worried that the sunscreen was not on first. At this point, there is so much stuff that ends up on my face. From serums to lotions to foundation, sunscreen, it's like there are so many layers. I feel like a cake. And then I have the Neutrogena spray each level at 70 that I use to spray any body parts that are going to get exposed. Mm -hmm. 
otherwise. Wherever that was, can you leave a message? I am in the midst. Is it perfect? Nah. Do I care about perfect? Not right now. Mainly because we went from 60s in the Fahrenheit scale to 90 plus yesterday. And you want to talk about sweat. There were places that I had forgotten to sweat a lot in the summer, in the hot weather, on my face, and I didn't get my zero sweat where I needed it on the spots. So, yeah, I have just did that today, but still. I have the full dose of sunscreen now on my face. And a slight color evening. Evened it out well enough. Along with it. I don't know why I was so worried about my nose. We are under modified restrictions here. Places like grocery stores and pharmacy have, are still requiring masks. Doctor's offices still require masks. Some of the other um, stores are under, you know, take your pick. It depends on what the corporate offices for the stores are saying. More than anything else. Now, this is one of my favorite powers. This is the Cody Air Spa. The problem is it smells like your grandma or your great grandma, depending on how old you are. For some of us, it smells like your mom. But it actually, it smells like my grandma, my mom, my great grandma. I had the entertaining luxury of knowing all of them. I didn't get right grandma that long. Okay. Better than not at all, you know. Oh. Can't remember if I mentioned this the last time, but my school advisor is really PO that the school bothered to send out the notice that I got about the Dean's List, the President's List, and all that because even though they pulled my name up and sent me the email because my grades qualify.
because I only take, I'm only able to commit to one class per session, I don't get a certificate for any of them. So, She's really annoyed because she's had to explain this to several students now. And apparently the complaint has gone well up the line. So there won't be another incident like that. Physician's formula, butter bronzer. This is light, just because I still look like an uncooked chicken. Yes, it's gotten hot, but I don't go out in the sun. I just picked up a hat because we want to go fishing this year. And it's one of the hats that's like, looks like a kind of like a fishing hat. Kind of like but it's one of the ones that's got the sun drape down the back of the neck. It's kind of like somebody took a fishing hat and combined it with the French floor of French hat. Yeah. This one's in a blue instead of a So, yeah, my grades qualify, which is why my name came up on full search, but my ability to take more than one class at a time is what put the kibosh on, because I can't. I can't guarantee I will be available. I can't guarantee I can handle that much at any one time. I'm doing good to get where I'm going with what I've got at this point because everything's a lot when you've got medical issues. Everything is just freaking a lot. Now, if you're wondering about the exceedingly bright hair, the dark that I had put on it was washing out really, really fast. Didn't want it to. Did it anyway. Right. So, I had ordered some other greens. And I'm like, let's see what happens. So, I put the green Now the coloring I used the first time was a Clairol Colorista. And that was in teal 10. This time I used stuff from a company called Adore. And it was sour. It was apple. Now, 
what I'm really putting, what, what, what I'm putting into the dye bowl, so I can, you know, pick it up with the brush. It looked like food coloring gel. It was a gel, and it was very interesting. And it actually smelled good. It didn't smell nasty. And I'm like, okay, how did that happen? We'll see how this goes. We'll see if it gets me any uh, any more attention. <laughs> right. Got a little elf stuff going here instead of using the pencil. It's like I've got all this stuff sitting in drawers. It's time to get it out and use it, you know? So far. Yeah, I know. There's all kinds of other colors I could use. I kinda have this weird thing about brows mostly sticking to the standard brow color. What do you want? And if you didn't know I was weird before you got here, you know it now. Which means if you're still here, you're good with it. I can be as weird as I want. It's my job. Yeah, I'm hoping our utility issues are not because somebody has decided they need to be a conservative crackpot. But it's possible. This town has got a few. Definitely got a few. I actually had a few people yesterday asking me how come I didn't take my mask off in the drugstore. And it's like, um, drugstore said they want masks. The employees are all in masks. I'm going to comply. They thought I was silly for complying. So I reminded them that I don't know them from Adam's house cat. I have chronic illness issues and I don't trust them. I don't trust anybody that I don't actually know to be safe, to be around me without a mask. So if they're not gonna wear one, I will. And if it upsets their, their sensibilities, that would be their problem. Play a little bit with this other health product I got. Now this is another one that's kind of a, a waxy stuff because it's it's an eyeliner among other things. Eyeliner, brow gel, you can use it for whatever. It's called Teal Teams for color. So it's right on the edge of the bristle. Just kind of tapping. 
tap, 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 tap. Yes, I make faces while I'm doing this. Yes, it helps. And this is one of the reasons I usually do this stuff off camera. Because I seem to be less inclined to be able to risk talking while I'm making lines and making funny faces. I can't understand it all. Why? I mean, after all, what harm could a funny face do? And there are a few people who have expressed the concept that it's pretty funny and you know, quote unquote, pulling the face. Yes, even small candles occasionally get some raggedy responses to things. So, off they went into the episode. And yes, the blue, which was the top of my nightgown, 
has been changed out for an orange. This weekend, starting today, June 4th, is Wear Orange for Gun Violence Awareness. So, if you're interested in that, I'll put the link in the description. The whole idea is to bring awareness to people that gun violence is not slowing down. And we need to fix it. Anyway, this is what I got. And this is without the extra lights from my fancy mirror. Tell me what you think. I dare you. Anyway, be good. Put your mask on. If it's still required where you are, or if a business says to do it, don't argue, just get on. Keep your distance, that's still being recommended. Keep those mitts washed. And yeah, think about some things. If you have not been vaccinated yet, go get it. Just go do it. Don't argue with me, we're not discussing it, just go do it. If somebody wants to give you a hassle about anything that you are representing and you have to defend yourself, I will find a way to help you get away from me. To start trouble for no good reason, no bail me. Check out the Wear Orange website. See if there is a local event near you. They've got a real simple plug in or zip code. Find, a, find the closest event. I'm tired of seeing the news with people being shot up, murdered, outright murdered, for no good reason. Just because somebody was able to lay hands to a gun when they shouldn't have been able to lay hands to a gun. People with mental health issues don't need a gun. People with violence issues don't need a gun. People with stalking issues don't need a gun. You want to go hunting, provide for your table? Hi, get a proper hunt license and a proper piece of equipment. Handguns ain't nothing but for killing paper. And some people get trigger happy. It's time to stop it. Regardless of where it's coming. It hasn't slowed down. We've had so many in the last few days, I'm having trouble.